Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you're new, thanks for joining in. So today, we have a very special guest on the channel today, my mom. And can you tell us what we're going to make? Today, we're going to be making my famous, very own, low-fat strawberry shortcake. So we want to tell you all the ingredients that we're going to use first. We're going to start with a yellow cake mix, country crock butter, egg beaters, the bowl to mix the, those ingredients in, and then I have two instant vanilla puddings and low-fat milk in the bowl to mix that in. And then I have strawberries, organic, pure cane sugar in the bowl to mix those ingredients. And then I have fat-free whipped topping and graham crackers and then the bowl to combine all the ingredients in. What I like to do first is to prepare the strawberries, which Chad is cutting up now. And when he completes the whole package, I put them in a bowl and I add water and then that's when I add the sugar cane around a cup to your preference. And how long do you leave them in the refrigerator? And normally I would leave them in the refrigerator probably around three to four hours. So this is prep earlier before you start the dessert. Sounds good. So as you can see on the back of the cake mix, it's asking for one cup of water, which we'll use, and a half a cup of oil, but we're actually gonna use a half a cup of the country crock butter. And then also, instead of the three eggs, we're gonna use a half a cup of egg beaters. And you can see that it wants you to set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're actually gonna be using a 13 by nine inch pan, so we're gonna actually be baking it in the oven for about 34 to 38 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and set the oven to 350 degrees. First, we're gonna add the cake mix into the bowl. Then I add the one cup of water. Next, I add the butter, which I put it in the microwave for about 50 seconds. Lastly, we're gonna add half a cup of the egg beaters. Before I mix the batter of the cake mix, I always like to spray my 13 by 9 pan with Baker's Joy, and it is for baking spray with flour. It's very important to use the flour because then your cake will come out so good and it will not stick. See? Awesome. Next, we're going to go ahead and mix all the cake mix and all of our ingredients together for about one to two minutes until everything's thoroughly mixed. Okay, so after we've mixed this for about two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and pour all of our mixture into the nine by 13 glass pan. You can just use a rubber spatula to just get all that extra out of the bowl and into your pan. Do you want the honors to put it into the oven? Sure. All right, let's pop it in. Here we go. And next, we're gonna go ahead and set the timer for 35 minutes. So while we're waiting for the cake to actually bake in the oven for that 35 minutes, we're gonna prepare the vanilla pudding for the cake. So I'm going to add the two boxes of vanilla pudding. Next, I'm going to add the six cups of low-fat milk. Once you've gotten all of your mixture together, we're gonna to use the mixer and we're gonna mix everything for about two minutes. Okay, we have it mixed for two minutes. Now we're ready to put it in the refrigerator for at least 20 to 30 minutes to chill. While we're waiting for the pudding to chill and for the cake to finish up in the oven, we're actually gonna use our box of graham crackers and we're going to break them in half and we're gonna chop them up really fine in our chopper here. It looks like the cake is done. Let's check it out. Mm, that looks delicious. It smells so good. So now we just wanna let this cool on the top of the stove for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so the moment we have all been waiting for, the cake is ready to go. 
We have crushed the graham crackers. The vanilla pudding has been chilling in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And our strawberries have been soaking in that sugar water that we mentioned in the beginning of the video for about four to six hours. First, I'm going to drain the strawberries. Next, we're going to cut the cake, and I like to cut it in cubes. Okay, next, what I like to do is I just take the cubes out, and I kind of just crumble them a little bit on the base of the pan. Next, what you're going to do is you're just going to take the pudding, and you're just going to start adding one to the cake, like this. And then you're going to smooth it out over the cake. And it smooths really nice. Okay, next, I take Cool Whip and I do the same thing. I just glide it and smooth it out. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is top with graham crackers. Next, I'm going to layer with the strawberries. Just kind of spread them out. Next, I'm just going to repeat the layers, starting with the cake mix again. Next is the pudding. Next is the next layer of whipped topping. And now I'm adding another layer of the graham cracker. Next, we're going to add a final topping of the Cool Whip. Lastly, I'm going to garnish with the remaining strawberries and the graham crackers. Okay guys, so this is the moment you have been waiting for. It is finished. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a slice and see how it turned out. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. <laughs> if you're looking for a low calorie special dessert for any occasion, this is it. Yes. This is it. <laughs> well guys, I hope you really enjoyed this YouTube video on how we make a low fat strawberry cake and I'm so glad to have my mom on this segment with us today and if you ended up liking this video please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up comment down below let us know what you think of the recipe and how it turns out for you guys and again if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you guys back next time take care Bye. How was that? I was waiting for you to spray the pan. Oh! Cake is done. We crumbled up the graham crackers. We've got... Get upstairs. Cake is done. The graham crackers are... <laughs>